five o'clock hours ago, we received a report highlighting the health care needs within Georgia's Latino population. Yeah, so this report is a collaboration between Morehouse College, Emory School of Nursing, and the organization Latino Community Fund. As 11 Alive's Palachuro explains, it's been over a decade since a report of this kind has been released. It has been believed that the Latino community tends to be more healthy than other communities. It's something called the Hispanic paradox. Dr. Roxana Chicas with Emory School of Nursing says their 2023 health status of Latinos in Georgia report disproves the Hispanic paradox. That term, she says, is based on a theory that healthier Latinos tend to be the ones with the opportunity of immigrating to the United States. But once you start looking at the data, looking at deeper, you start to see these disparities. Especially when it comes to mental health. There are more than one million Latinos in Georgia and less than 100 Spanish-speaking mental health providers. The need for help grew throughout the pandemic. So many of them were still out there working, and many of them were not able to adhere to, you know, to six feet apart. They were having employers that weren't giving out masks or putting in safety protections for them. So you can imagine how that must feel to feel, you know, devalued as if their lives don't matter as much. The report highlights that life expectancy among Latinos dropped by three years from 2019 to 2020, with COVID-19 accounting for 90% of this reduction. We have a mental health crisis within the Latino community, and for a long time, we have not talked about it. The report also shows an above average prevalence of diabetes and high blood pressure for Latinos in Georgia compared to state averages. 29% of Latinas in Georgia reported not seeing a doctor due to cost, compared to the national average of 18%. But Chica says it's important to break it down further and look at each individual culture and country of origin. In the Puerto Rican population, you see much higher rates of asthma than you do perhaps in the Mexican population. We are not, you know, homogeneous, and we need to tailor our interventions or resources, you know, depending on the needs of the community. Paul Wasuro, 11 Alive News.